What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so it is finally time to take on our father in the Petalburg City Gym. Of course, off screen, I took the liberties of getting back to Petalburg. It's not that hard, you know. You know, all you have to do is go to Rust Turf and take care of the rest. So, if you guys remember, we started off our adventure right here, uh, helping Wally capture a Pokemon of his own. Afterwards, we asked our father to, you know, to see if he wants to battle us. He told us, no, you are not strong enough yet. He said, go win a few battle or a few gym battles before you even come and take on the, the big boy right here. You know, your dad. So here it is, guys. We're back. Let's see if four is enough. So here you go. Pelbrick City Gym, Leader Norman, a man in pursuit of power. Hmm. It's pretty awesome. It's a pretty, pretty awesome uh, way to say it. So now if you talk to this guy, he's like, hey, how's it going, Champion Bound Draven? The doors in the gym opens when you be in the the awaiting trainers. Whoops! The doors in the in, in this room are already open, so don't attack me. The trainers of the Petalburg uh, gym use all kinds of items. The door at the left leads to the speed room. The door at the right leads to the accuracy room. The room's name will uh, will be on the door, uh, so choose carefully. Once you've chosen the door, or once you've chosen the door, well, hey, go for it. So in this gym right here, they are normal type gym, uh, normal type trainers, but they actually use the X items, dire hit, you know that kind of stuff, uh, and you know of course the name of the, the the room will actually say what kind of battle you're going to be having. So we're going to start with the speed room. I'm actually going to be battling everybody in here, uh, mainly for Ralts or Curly's uh, sake right here. So here we go. We're going to be battling this guy. The ability to attack before the opponent. Just that alone puts me at a great advantage. Don't you agree? True, true, but you know, you suck, and I and I don't. So here we go, first battle against Randall. He's coming out with his Swallow right here, pretty fast Pokemon, and I'm starting off with Gaia right here, just because I want to evolve him, and we're gonna go with Psychic. But unfortunately, we're going with a Wing Attack, and that takes a lot. So yes, it does put him uh, to a good advantage right there, and it just decreases his uh his special attack or defense I should say so we're gonna be switching him up right now let's go with Raiden of course last episode he, evol he finally evolved into Magnetric right here look at that it looks majestic try and attack me now yes not that powerful and uh, let's finish him off right here yeah this guy's using all speed moves right here so shockwave for the win oh yeah bye bye swallow yeah not feeling so good now huh that's right, my Pokemon are awesome. That was a magnificent battle. Yeah, he, he's not too happy about that. So the, these both doors open, and, well, let's read what it says. The confusion room, we're not going there. And this is the defense room. So what we're going to do is we're going to go straight back to the accuracy room. I think that's what it is. The accuracy room, yes, it is. And we're going to go back in here. And you know what? I'm going to screw around with them because I actually do have a move that messes with the accuracy as well. So let's just heal up our Pokemon, get everybody back into shape right here because I don't want to be uh, messing around with anybody else in here. So let's go and talk to this lady. She's like, giggle, this is the accuracy room. It's pretty nasty when every attack lands without fail. Hmm. So she might be talking about a move that, you know, eh, could, could hit us every single time. So here we go, taking on a Del Caddy. And, uh, Alrighty. Alrighty, and she's got a cute charm right here. Luckily, it won't hurt us. And crud! Yeah, she wasn't kidding. Yeah, that was a... That was a bitch move right there. That was a bitch move, Del Caddy. And just for that, you know, it's a critical hit. Eat it. Eat it. That's right. And look at that. Gaia finally grows to level 30. Everybody is happy. You were, you were a cut above me. I'm cut above everything else, and would you look at that? It's finally time, guys. Gaia's finally evolving. So that that completes my team. Wow, my team is fully evolved already by the fifth badge. That is a big accomplishment for me right there. Hmm, normally it takes me like till like seventh badge, but here it is, guys. Our newest Pokemon, Gardevoir, or however you like to pronounce it. I don't know. And uh, is it learning a new move? No, it doesn't. And she's like, there are some even stronger, or, yeah, whatever, I'm not even gonna, yeah, whatever. Okay, so let's go ahead and see our new Pokemon right here. We got ourselves Gardevoir, 
or Gardevoir, I don't even know, Gardevoi, or I don't even know, Psychic type Pokemon, it is also a fairy type Pokemon in Generation 6, very strong Pokemon, it's very very good on the special attack, and as you can see, I don't know what contest to put it in, but finally my full, my full team has evolved, so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to switch them up, let's start battling some Pokemon trainers right here with, uh, with uh, you know, the right Pokemon, and this goes to the defense room, so let's go ahead and just defeat everybody with everything I got right here. So this person right here specializes in defense, but is also a normal type trainer, so it shouldn't be that that hard, and here she comes out with a Jiggly or a Wigglytuff, a very defensive Pokemon right here, and we're going to go with that Mog Punch. Look at that. How fast is that? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, you didn't you didn't see that, and there's that double edge, and uh, that is not good for that person. So we're gonna finish this guy off. Not right now, holy crud! Come on, let us beat you. Here we go, mock punch. That's right, almost for the win. We're gonna do that again with a mock punch. Ah uh, yes, there we go. Shroom Lee just kicking butt right now. Ah uh, yes. And uh, no more Pokemon right there, so yeah, your defense was not enough. Now that that just remind, now that that remind me, um, you know what? It is probably a good, good time to actually use a or to teach a bulk up to a Shroom Lee right here. Now, I didn't want to teach him bulk up just yet because it did have a stun spore but I'm gonna take stun spore away I do have a heart uh, scale just in case I need to teach it again I actually wanted to use that for just uh, for legendary Pokemon right there so we're gonna do that and we're gonna go straight to another room right here we're gonna defeat everybody guys we're gonna battle we're gonna train this is what it's all about you know humiliating aiding everybody right here and uh, we already went to the defense room right here, so let's go straight to the confusion room. And uh, let's see. Shroomly. Let's go right ahead and switch him out for Raphael. Raphael will do the, the best it can right here. And this is a, this is the confusion room. Let me see how well bonded you are with your Pokemon. He must be a psychic type trainer. I don't know. He might be. So here we go. Cool trainer Parker, and he's coming out with his Spinda. Okay, so this is a Pokemon that will try and confuse you. This is a this is gonna be a fun one right here. So let's go with the Rock Smash, and wow, nearly confuses me. It does have confusion, and this Pokemon is very defensive. But look at that! Its defenses are going down. Okay, so this is a good good enough time for me to just defeat him. And here we go again with another Rock Smash, taking a little bit more. And look at that, more defense is falling off. So this guy is focusing it or tightening its focus right here for a very, very powerful attack. But for me, I'm going to go straight with this and crud. Oh, crud. And yeah, I couldn't move. Alrighty. All right, I thought he was going to hit me with another move right here. So let's go right ahead and do another rock smash. Let's go, Raphael. You can do this. And it's tightening up its focus yet again. You will never get that attack on me. I'm just going to keep on hitting you with rock smashes. That's right, and there we go. That's probably the last part of its defense that I can actually, you know, will actually let me actually beat this guy. And this guy's going for a teeter dance. Crud! Okay, so it finally confused me. Come on, Raphael. Come on! And there we go. Rock smash. Eat it, Spinda. Eat it. So Spin has been defeated. Very good battle right there. He's like, I couldn't confuse your team enough. You share a strong bond together. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. So, let's see. What kind of room does this go? The strength room. Okay. That is for later on right here. So, we defeated that guy. Let's go back into the defensive room. And where does this take me? The strength room, of course. I'm not going there yet. And I'm going to go to the one-hit KO room. And I think I know what what Pokemon I want to use right here. Let's go with let's go with Skyblade. Yeah, you will not one hate KO me right here. So here we go. I'm not going to take it easy on. I'm not going to take it easy just because you're our leader's kid. I'll show you how hard it is for a Pokemon to take a critical hit. 
then you probably should have named this room the critical hit room. I just wanted... I'm just letting you know right now. And here he comes out with a Vigoroth. Let's go, Skyblade. Alrighty, Skyblade. Looking like a beast. Going with the Steel Wing, and this guy is going for a Focus Energy right here. Come on. Steel Wing. Oh, yes. It probably show up its, uh, its agility right here. And that was a critical hit, but it's not not super effective. So here we go. Agility. Now I'm gonna get the now I'm gonna get the advantage right here. So let's go with the steel wing again. Here we go. Oh yes. And look at that. Its defenses are growing up. I think I'm I think I'm just like contradicting everybody's attacks right here or contradicting everybody's methods. So let's go again with another steel wing attack. Oh yes, nearly defeats him and this guy is just He's trying to go ham with the slash deck, but you're going up against the steel wing guy. Let's go, swift attack. And of course. Uh, so here we go. Swift attack. Not much right there, but let's go with the steel wing again. There we go. And this this guy is just, you know. He's trying to break my defenses, but he will not win. So here we go again with another steel wing attack. We gotta get ourselves a real flying type attack here, and this guy, he's not, you know, he's not giving up right now. So here we go again, Steel Wing, come on, defeat him. And it does. Bye bye Vigoroth, look at that. Pokemon are kicking ass right here, look at that. Yeah, we're the real deal, homeboy. Alright, so what room opens right here? Let's see, Gym Leader's room, okay. I will have to wait for that a little bit later. I think we still got one room left right here. And this one is the strength room, which we have not gone into yet. So, let's see. Skyblade, you did it's just great. Let's go with Let's go with Raiden right here. Let's go with Raiden. All my Pokémon need to like have some kind of a battle. Our gym leader told us to go all out and beat you, even if it, you happen to be the leader's kid. Okay. All right. Turns out that my dad doesn't really like me at all. Alright, so here we go. Cool Trainer Jody, and she's coming out with a Zangoose. Alrighty. Bring it on with Raiden. Okay, let's go with a Thunder Wave first, just to make sure this guy doesn't move that much. And, uh, oh crud. Okay, so that's what, it, that's what it's all about right there. Super attack and all that stuff. So here we go with a Shockwave. Doesn't do much. Doesn't do much. It takes a lot, and there's that slash attack, and ooh, puts us to sleep. Okay. All right, Raiden, you dick. Here we go. Going with Swamp Lord. Didn't want to do this, but you know what? It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Mud shot. Feel it all over your face. Giggity, 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 goo. Look at that. That's strength right there. That is strength. And she's like, but I went all out. Yeah, you did. But I showed you true strength. Alrighty, so what's the next room right here? Yes, the gym leader's room. We're gonna be facing our daddy right now. Okay, so what we're gonna do right now is, uh, let's see. We're gonna start healing our Pokemon. Every single one of our Pokemon did some kind of battle right here. Very, very good. I'm liking it. Guy, you, you, you are the beast. You are the beast. And uh, Raphael, you are also a beast right here too. And let's go with Skyblade. Skyblade's a pretty good Pokemon right now. It needs a little more stronger attacks. And uh, I do have revives now, which is pretty awesome. And we're going to revive Raiden right here because, yeah, not the, not the best performance right now. And let's go ahead and just give him a little bit of a boost. So what we're going to do right now is actually, I'm, uh, let's see. Let me see, let me see. I want to see something. Hold on just a sec. Hold on just a sec, guys. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off with Skyblade first. I want to start with that guy. Alrighty. Hello, Dad. What's up? It's been a while. Let's do this. Dad? Hmm. So you did get those four gym badges. Fine. As promised, we will have a Pokemon battle. Draven? I'm so happy that I can have a real battle with my own child, but a battle is a battle. I will do everything in my power as a gym leader to win. Draven, 
you'd better give it your all your best shot too. So here it is, guys, our fifth gym battle, and it happens to be against our daddy, Norman, the gym leader. And he's gonna come out with his Spinda, and I'm gonna come out with Skyblade right here. So just bring it on. So moving on to into, into our next screen right here. If you're playing Pokemon Ruby or Zapfire, he does have three Pokemon. I guess all these trainers have three Pokemon? I don't know. But he does have two Slackings. One stronger than the other, one at level 28 and one at level 31. And he does have a Vigoroth at level 30. Now be aware that Slacking may do, you know, may slack off every other turn, but it is a very, very powerful Pokemon when it has its attack stat through the freaking roof. Now, if you're playing Pokemon Emerald right here, he does have four Pokemon. Starting off with Spinda at level 27, Vigoroth at level 27, and then a Lanoon at level 29, and then finishing off with his uh, Slacking at level 31. Its main move is Facade, so if you guys try to, like, I don't know, give it, uh, I think Facade, yeah. If you guys try paralyzing it, fainting it, or anything like that, any kind of damage with the Facade, any kind of negative damage, will actually double its attack right there. So you just gotta, gotta be aware of that right there. So moving on forward right here, let's bring it on with the Spinda. I'm gonna use this agility attack because, you know, I need to be speedy. I need to actually try and defeat this guy quick and, uh, Oh crud, I completely forgot about that side beam. Not very effective. And wow, just my luck. Alright. Lexi, do I have a full heal? I know I have a full heal somewhere. There we go, we got one. So, that's right, I became healthy. Let's go. And if he confuses me again, I swear to God I'm going to be pissed. And uh, no, I didn't get confused. So here we go. Let's bring it on with the steel wing right here. That's right, close your eyes, eat it. And it takes a nice chunk of his uh, HP right there. And here we go again with another side beam. It's not really working at all. So we're going to go with another Steel Wing. Let's go. Oh, yes. And that was a critical hit. Something that he teaches in this gym. That's right. That's right. So I'm kicking my dad's ass right here. So he's going to come out with a Vigoroth. So I'm going to go with Raphael right here because he does have a nice defense. Very, very nice defense. Not fast, but very nice defense right here. So here we go. Vigoroth looking scratchy and everything. So I'm going to go with a body slam while this guy tries to slash me. Takes a nice amount. And there we go. So we're going to... Oh, crud. Oh, crud. Didn't realize... Oh, yeah. It does have facade. Wow. And rock smash. There we go. Oh, crud. Come on, lower his defense. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay, body slam. Oh, crud. Okay, so let's... Come on. Body slam for the win. Oh, Jesus. So we're both... Yeah, we're both kind of screwed right there. But I'm going to hit him one more time before he, he tries to hit me. I'm going to try and paralyze him. But then again, it might just work against me, so... Come on. And there you are. You're paralyzed, you a-hole Pokemon. So I'm going to use another... Super Repel, or Super Potion, I should say. Wow, what am I thinking of right now? So here we go, Super Potion. Let's go, Raphael. And crud! Yeah, I kind of screwed myself over right there. Like I said, Facade doubles an attack if, you know, if uh, you paralyze him, poison him, any kind of, any kind of, uh, you know, de de anything de detriment to, to its, uh, its stats right there. And... I'm nearly beating this guy right here, and this guy's going with his facade. And there goes my Raphael. Crud! Okay, so, let's go, Raiden. Let's do this. Everybody's gonna battle. I'm gonna show my daddy that, yes, I got every Pokemon ready for you. Let's go, Raiden. Finish him off with a Shockwave. And that's how he does it. Eat it, Vigoroth. And, uh, let's see. He's coming out with his Lanoon, Linoon, or whatever. So I'm going to go with Shroom Lee right here. I'm going to power him up just for the big battle against uh, Slack King. And uh, what is Lanoon going to do? You're not going to do nothing. So let's go with the bulk up and crud. This guy is faster than me. All right. All right. So that's a double. You know, we're, we're just maxing him out right here. We're going to max him out. And this guy's going for facade. And, oh, uh, geez. All righty. So I think I should hit him one, like, I, I should hit him in the next one right here with a Mach Punch. So here we go, Mach Punch, hopefully for the win. And it does it, for the win. 
eat it. That's right. Okay, so he's coming out with the slacking. And uh, this Pokemon is a strong Pokemon right here. Like I said, its attack stat is through the roof, so you gotta make sure to hit him as often as possible. It may be a, you know, like it says, it's a slacker. But it does hit you pretty hard. And this guy is gonna go with a counter attack and crud. He uses, <laughs> he uses that pretty well. So I'm gonna go with Swamp Lord right here. Let's go. That's right, my starting Pokemon with your most powerful Pokemon. And this guy right here, healing up with that Citrus Berry that it has. Alrighty, okay. This is how I want it. Water Gun Attack, and it's loafing around. No, because it's not disobeying my dad. It's just its nature, or its ability, or what, whatever. So let's go with a Mud Shot, and this guy with a Facade Attack right here. So here we go, Mud Shot. And its speed just goes all the way down. So let's finish him off right here with a takedown and good god. Saves him. Saves him. So you can get another attack off right here. And wow. Okay, so let's go with a mud slap right here. Lowers the it's uh it's accuracy right there. You won't hit me that much. And uh yes. Oh god. Okay, so he's gonna be loafing around in the next turn. So I might as well hit him with the takedown attack right here. And uh that nearly takes him out. And uh, loafing around. Start loafing around, you jerk. So here we go, finishing him off. Water gun. Eat it. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I nearly beat him. Oh, God. Slacking, you are, you are a tank. Kind of makes me wonder if I should get a slacking. I kind of don't want to, though. So as you can see, he's speechless. He's like, I, I can't. I can't believe it, Draven. I lost a Draven? But rules are rules. Here, take this. He's pretty pissed off at me. Now I'm grounded. And as you can see, we get ourselves the balance badge from our daddy. That's right. That's right, dad. With that badge, the defense of all your Pokemon will increase. Pokemon that know HM moves Surf will be able to travel over water. This is my gift to you, Draven. I'm sure you'll, you'll use it correctly. That's right. The H or the TM. 42 which is facade a very good move and like I said it doubles the power of moves if the Pokemon is po poisoned paralyzed or burned it might be able to turn a bad situation into an advantage which is true and he's like as a gym leader I can't express how upset I am but as a father it makes me feel uh, it makes me both happy and a little sad it's odd and uh, huh look at this guy look at this Jamuk right here ah there you are, Draven. Please come with me. I have something I want you to have. Norman, you don't mind, don't you? Let me borrow Draven for your Draven for a, l a minute or two. All right, see you, Dad. Not flipping you off. I don't want to get grounded. So after defeating our dad in the gym battle, we're going back to Wally's house, and uh, that's his dad right here, and he's going to be like, you know, I'm so proud of you. He's like, Draven, please excuse us for dragging you uh, here this way. But our Wally's become very healthy since he went to Verdanter Town. We owe it all to you. When Wally left town, you helped him catch a Pokemon, right? I think that made Wally really happy. Actually, not just Wally, it made me, his father, happy too. Happy that he's gained such a great friend as you. This isn't a bribe or anything, but I'd really like you to have this. And would you look at that, we get ourselves the HMO3 Surf. Finally, a better... Uh, a better water type move. If your Pokemon can surf, you'll be able to go to all sorts of places. And uh, that's pretty much it, right? Wally's coming home soon. I'm looking forward to that. And uh, let's go ahead and talk to his mom right here. I want you to keep this a secret from my husband. But our Wally, our Wally left Verdant Turf Town without telling anyone. You know, Wally is frail, but he's surprisingly strong-willed. I'm sure that he'll uh, come back. Uh, he'll come back safe, or, uh, safe and sound one day. Wow. You need to learn all my reading and all that stuff. So that's that's good. Look at that. We're, we're kicking butt. You know, we're doing great things. You know, we got ourselves a surf technique, and uh, we got ourselves our fifth badge. That's awesome. That's great. Look at that. Look at that. We're going to take a look at the five badges. So we got three badges to go. Holy crud, guys. Holy crud. We're almost there. All righty. So, yeah. I think in our next episode, we're going to start surfing everywhere. We're going to start going through the sea, you know, looking through stuff, you know, that kind of stuff. So, 
Alrighty, so thank you guys for watching. I'll be back for another episode next week. That's right, episode 31. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.